My name is Sheila Michael. I'm the founder and board chair of Torch, the organization that works with the homeless in Anderson County. I personally am a nester from the time of early childhood. I've liked nothing better than being at home. It's where I feel safe, secure, and able to be myself with no questions asked. For that reason, nests fascinate me. They're intricately patterned and strategically placed to provide shelter, safety, and access to nourishment. And each nest is the maker's own, demonstrating where she's been, what she has access to, and what's most important for her chicks. The nest is where the chicks are fed, nurtured, and taught to fly, so they can make it on their own in the world. The idea of a bird being thrown from its nest is tragic to me. I've seen it happen enough to know that if that happens to a baby bird, that is the end of its life. For any animal in the wild to lose its home is disastrous. And think of all the messages we see in the media regarding animal mistreatment and the necessity for humans to step in and help. So wouldn't it be necessary for humans to step in and help other humans who've lost their homes? That makes sense to me. People ask, how do people in our area become homeless? Most of the people Torch works with are people who have come into bad luck, many of them single mothers with children. There are a lot of people in our community working multiple part-time jobs, trying to make it day to day, who are just one paycheck away from being homeless. If there's an illness for adult or child, an accident, a car breakdown such that it's not possible for the person to make it to work, or the expense is so great that it cannot possibly be paid, then the home is lost and the family has nowhere to go. We are surrounded by these people every day and just have no idea. So who are the homeless in our county? The person waiting your table in a restaurant, asking you if you'd like more coffee, the person handing the burger to you through the drive through window, the person in the line in front of you dropping off children at school, the child sitting in the desk next to your child in school, the person checking you out at the grocery store, the person standing in line behind you at the grocery store, the person doing the manual labor that you're not able to do or choose not to do, people just like you and me, except that they don't have a safe place to lay their heads at night. And that is not a crime. It is a tragedy, just like a baby bird falling from the nest. Torch works to ensure that these people living in our midst have a safe place to lay their heads every night. As torchbearers, you have the opportunity to partner with Torch to rebuild a family's nest, to help a family get back to where they were before the nest became uninhabitable. As partners, you can help end homelessness in Anderson County. Don't you want to know that every person you encounter in your community has a safe place to sleep at night?